Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 20. Every line is a graph of a linear equation. Okay, so the opening exercise here gives us a graph of a line. Okay, this is a straight line. And what you need to do here in this exercise is see if you can come up with the equation of this line. And once you think you have come up with that equation of that line, you want to check integer values on this to see if it makes your equation true. So pause the video, try to come up with the equation of this line, and then come back and unpause it, and we'll see how you did. Okay, so here we go. Now, if I want to graph an equation of a line, I know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m equals slope, of the line and b equals the y intercept okay so with that being said i always like to start with b or actually we should always start with b and so i am going to put a dot right there there is my y intercept this is the y axis this is where that line crosses it and my y value there is negative three so in that case so I need two things to come up with a linear equation. I need the slope and I need the y-intercept. So the y-intercept in this case is negative three. So my equation is going to be y equals something times x minus three. Okay, so just by that, just by the y-intercept, we get our constant b. Okay, so I just need to find the slope now. Well, keep in mind that if we find another integer value somewhere along this line, like right here, all we have to do is count up and over, and that is our slope. So to get from this point here to this point here, and this point is the point negative 3 comma negative 5, and this is the point 0 comma negative 3, we can either do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, the change in y over the change in x, but when we have a graph, it is much quicker and easier just to go like this and say to get to this level, I had to go up 2. And then to get from this point over, I had to go over 3. So there's my slope. My slope is up 2 over 3, so that's 2 over 3. So therefore, my slope is, okay, I'm thinking 2, I'm writing 3, 2 over 3. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. That is the equation of this line. Now what you should do is check another point and make sure it's true. So there's a point right here, and that is the point 3 comma negative 1. So that is my x, 3, y, negative 1. So if I have the equation y equals 2 thirds x minus 3, and I plug in negative 1 for y, then I should get, this should be true if I did my equation correctly. And if I plug in 3 for x, then I get negative 1 equals 2 thirds times 3 minus 3. Well, if you think of 2 thirds as 3 as 3 over 1, then this denominator of 3 and this numerator of 3 will cancel each other out, and we get 2 over 1, or simply 2, and negative 1 equals 2 minus 3, and 2 minus 3 is definitely negative 1, and that is true. So therefore, the point I checked on this line is true, so therefore, this equation appears to be the correct equation. Okay, so here's figure 2. Try that same process now and see how you do it. Okay, so again, I'm going to write the equation y equals mx plus b, and I'm going to write m equals and b equals, and those are the two things I need to plug in and leave y and x in the equation. I start with my y-intercept, and in this case, that is the point 0, comma 2. So my b is 2. So now I have y equals some slope times x plus 2. Now all I have to do is count find an integer value, which is here, and not an integer, not an integer, not an integer, an integer, so I want to get back to here, so that would require me to go down one, negative one, a distance of one, but in the negative direction, and then one, two, three, four to the right, 
So my slope is negative 1 fourth. So therefore, my equation is going to be negative 1 over 4x plus 2. There's my equation. Now I'm going to check it. So I'm going to write the equation again. y equals negative 1 quarter x plus 2. And I'm going to choose a value that is on the line that's at an integer corner point on our grid. And this is the point 4 comma 1. I'm going to plug that into my equation. y is 1. 1 equals 1 quarter times x, which is 4. It's negative 1 quarter, I'm sorry. Negative 1 quarter times 4 plus 2. So 1 equals, well, negative a quarter times 4. The 4s cancel, and I get negative 1 plus 2. And 1 equals, well, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So that did check as well. So that is a point on my equation. So I verified that my equation works at that point as well. Okay, exercise one wants us to do what we just did on the previous page. So pause the video, see if you can do this, and come back and check. So you're going to write an equation that represents the line shown. Okay, so here we go. Start off with that point right there. So I'm going to write y equals m x plus b and I want to find out what m is and I want to find out what b is. b is the point 2, oh, not 2, 0, comma 2. So my b is 2. So now I can write in y equals something times x plus 2. Now I need to find two points on the line or another point on this line where I have an integer corner right here and determine the distance from here to here is 1, and from here to here is 3. So it's rise 3 over 1. Okay, so actually if I'm going to do rise and then run, I should probably be on the other side of the line. It doesn't really matter, but I don't want to confuse you. Rise 3, and then over 1, 3 over 1. So my slope is 3. If I have an integer, remember, if my distance left to right is only 1, then my rise is my slope. That's from a prior lesson. And my equation is y equals 3x plus 2. Okay, now it says use the properties of equality to change the equation from slope-intercept form. So this is the slope-intercept form because this is the slope and this is the y-intercept. We call this the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. And we want to put it in a standard form. And standard form is ax plus by equals a constant, where a, b, and c are integers. So I don't want any fractions, and a cannot be negative. So here's what we do. We take y equals 3x plus 2. Now notice my y is right next to the equal sign. See that right here? b, y equals, y equals. The y is already where it needs to be, so I have to determine what has to be moved. The 2 is already where it has to be. The 2 is my constant. It's on the right side of the equal sign. This is on the right side of the equal sign. The only thing that is out of place is my 3x, and I need to move it out in front over on the other side of the equal sign. So in order to do that, we do the inverse operation of minus 3x. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Okay. And this might be a little confusing to you at first, but if I put a plus and I put a 0x in here. So if that was 0x plus y equals 3x plus 2, that's still just y. And 0x minus 3x is a negative 3x plus y equals, and 3x minus 3x is 0, and plus 2 is 2. So I'm in standard form now, ax plus by equals c, ax plus b, which is my a 1, y equals c, but a cannot be negative, so now I'm going to take this whole thing, multiply it by negative 1, and some prefer just saying divide by negative 1, either way. And a negative times a negative is positive. A negative times a positive is negative. And a negative times a positive 2 is negative 2. So this is the equation up here. These are equivalent. This is in slope-intercept form. This is in standard form. Okay, number two, we're going to do the same thing. We want to write an equation of this line. So the first thing I'm going to do is write y equals mx plus b. I want to know what m is. 
I want to know what B is. I start with my B, and that is right here, and that is at the point 0, comma, negative 1. So my B is negative 1, so now I can write Y equals some slope times X minus 1. I just need to find that slope. So in order to find the slope, we pick another point on the line, which is right here, and that is the point 3, comma, negative 3. So with a graph, I just do rise over run. So I have to go down 2. I had to go down 2 here and then to the right 3. So that's down 2, negative 2, right 3. So remember, if this is going decreasing from left to right, it's a negative slope. And my answer is down 2 over 3 or negative 2 thirds. So there is my equation in slope-intercept form. There's nothing wrong with having a fraction in slope-intercept form, but when we go to standard form, we don't want empty any fractions. We just want integers. So now we're going to convert this, so I'll rewrite it. y equals negative 2 over 3 x minus 1. Now keep in mind our y is already where it's supposed to be, and b is 1 in this case. I just, and my C is on the right, so that's okay. I just need to move this minus 2 thirds X over here. And in order to do that, we add 2 thirds X to both sides. Okay, 0 plus 2 thirds X is 2 thirds X plus, Y is positive, so plus Y equals, this cancels and I get minus 1, or 0 minus 1. Okay, great. AX plus BY equals C. Beautiful, except my A is not an integer, or A is not negative. That's okay, but I need integers. A is not an integer. Okay, so now I need to get rid of this. I need to make it an integer, and the easiest way to do that is just multiply by the common denominator. So I only have one denominator, so that is 3. So if I multiply this whole thing by 3, the 3's cancel here. 3 times 2 thirds is 2x. 3 times y is 3y. And 3 times a negative 1 is negative 3. So this is the, this equation up here in standard form. Okay, now let's just practice, practice, practice. So see the pattern here, right? y equals mx plus b m equals b equals and plot your b and that is at the point zero comma negative four therefore my b is negative four y equals sum m times x minus four find another point that is an integer you can go either way it does not matter there's one right here and in order to get from here to here i need to descend one down one one, two, three, four, five to the right. So my slope is negative one fifth. So it's negative one fifth x minus four. There's my linear equation. Use the properties of equality to change it to standard form. So now I'm going to write y equals negative one over five x minus four. Y is where it needs to be, the constant's where it needs to be. I just need to move the one-fifth by adding one-fifth X to both sides. Remember, there's a zero X sitting there. So zero X plus one-fifth X is one-fifth X. That's a positive Y. So plus Y equals negative one-fifth X plus one-fifth X is zero. Minus four is negative four okay a x plus b y equals c it's in the right order but a is not an integer so i now need to multiply everything by five five times one fifth is one x or just x plus five times y is five y equals five times a negative four is negative twenty so this is standard form. So if you, this is slope intercept form. This is standard form. Okay. Number four, one more time. 
y equals m x plus b. I want to know what m equals. I want to know what b equals. I'm going to get y equals some x plus something with my b. So first I'm going to plot my b, which is right here. That is the origin, 0, comma, 0. So my b is 0, so I'm going to put my b as 0 there. Now in order for me to find my slope, I have to find another integer. There's one right there, so I had to rise up 1 and go to the right 1. So my slope is 1 over 1, which is simply 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So now I have y equals 1x plus 0. Well, 1 times x is simply x, and plus 0 is just simply x. So this is the equation y equals x. That is called the, the identity because we're multiplying by the multiplicative identity and adding the additive identity for my y-intercept. Now I want to put this in standard form, so I write y equals x. In order to get this in standard form, I need x first on the left side, so I'm going to have to subtract x from both sides. And remember, this would be 0x plus y, so 0 minus 1x is negative x plus y equals, and this is 0. If there's nothing left on the right, you have to write 0. I'm in standard form. AX, A is negative 1, X plus B is positive 1, Y equals 0. I want integers, but A cannot be negative. So to get rid of a negative, I multiply or divide by negative 1. Negative times a negative is positive. Negative 1 times a positive Y is negative Y. And negative 1 times 0 is still 0. So there is the equation Y equals X in standard form. Okay, we're going to continue with this practice. So write the equation in that represents the line shown, y equals mx plus b. I need to know what m is. I need to know what b is. b is my y-intercept. My y-intercept here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's hard for me to read that, so I'm going to count. That is the point 0, I'm a 5. That's my b, 5. So it's y equals something times x plus 5. Okay, then I find my slope. I'm looking for an integer value here. No, no, no. Finally, right there, I am on a corner. To get there, I had to go up 1 and write 1, 2, 3, 4. So my slope is rise 1 over 4. And therefore, my slope's a quarter. y equals 1 fourth x plus 5 is my equation. Put that in standard form. y equals 1 fourth x plus 5. The y is where it needs to be. This constant's where it needs to be. x is out of place for standard form. I will need to move my x by subtracting four, 1 quarter x from both sides of the equation. 0 minus a quarter x is negative 1 fourth x plus y equals 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter x equals 5. Okay, I have a x plus b y equals 5. C. A is not an integer, and a is not positive. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of negative a quarter, which is 4. But I want to change that sign because 4 times a negative a quarter is negative 1. So I'm going to multiply by a negative 4. So a negative times a negative is positive. 4 times a quarter is 1, and so x becomes positive. Negative 4 times y is a negative 4y. And a negative times a positive is negative, and 4 times 5 is 20. So I get x minus 4y equals negative 20. So that, this is slope-intercept form. This is the equivalent standard form. Okay, another time. y equals mx plus b. m equals b equals. b is right here on the y-axis, way down here at negative 7. That's the point 0, negative 7. So that's negative 7. So I now have my equation y equals some slope times x minus 7. 
Now I find the slope by looking for the next integer, not on the corner, not on the corner, no, 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 no. Oh, way up here was the first integer. That is the point negative five comma one. Okay, so I need to get from this point to this point. So I will go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a downward direction eight. So it's, it's a length of eight, but it's in a negative direction. Then I have to turn right and go one, two, three, four, five. So my slope is negative 8 over 5. So it's negative 8 fifths x minus 7. There is my y equals mx plus b, or slope intercept form. Now I want to change it to standard. So I'll rewrite that. y equals negative 8 fifths x minus 7. Okay, I need to move the x. Everything else is where it belongs. I'm going to add 8 fifths x to both sides. 0 plus 8 fifths x is 8 fifths x plus y equals, and careful, don't forget this. This has to come down here. That is 0 minus 7, which is negative 7. I don't want a to be a fraction. I don't want anything to be a fraction. But I don't want a to be negative or a fraction. I have to get rid of this fraction. So I'm going to multiply by the denominator 5. The 5's cancel. I get 8x. 5 times y is 5y. And 5 times 7 is 35. And since 7 is negative and 5 is positive, it's a negative 35. So this is standard form of this slope-intercept form of the same equation. Okay, that is the end of lesson 20. Review the summary and go to your problem set.